Climate change, without doubt, is a defining issue of the present time. And this summit convened by the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is the crucial moment for political and business leaders, as well as the civil society, to shift global response into higher gear. The Climate Action Summit is indeed an opportunity towards boosting ambitions and accelerating actions towards ensuring that the Paris Agreement on Climate Change is fully implemented for the benefit of humanity. President Muhammad Buhari told participants that he could not agree more that the world is now on the verge of climate catastrophe. We will take concrete steps to harness climate innovative ideas by including youth in decision-making processes as part of our overall climate governance architecture. We will mobilize Nigerian youth towards planting 25 million trees to enhance Nigeria's carbon sink. Nigeria is presently diversifying its energy sources from defendants on gas-powered system to hydro, solar, wind, biomass, and nuclear sources. Specifically, Nigeria is progressively working to realize 30% energy efficiency and renewable energy mix by 2030. He said apart from developing a shelter belt across 11 states through the Great Green Wall Initiative, a hydrocarbon pollution remediation program is also being implemented in Ogoni land towards recovering the carbon mix potential of the mangrove ecosystem. I should also inform the summit that our government has introduced climate smart agricultural practices to unlock 74 million tons of carbon dioxide per annum through relevant technologies, advocacy, and best practices. On the Lake Chad Basin, which used to be a region of productivity, food security, and wealth for nearly 40 million people that now shrunk significantly due to climate change, President Buhari said Nigeria will continue to lead in efforts for solid partnerships that will ensure ecological restoration and recharge of the lake. We are confident that this would improve the living conditions of diverse nationals living in the area, promote interstate cooperation, strengthen community resilience, as well as assist in addressing the environmental and security crisis that threaten the region, its resources, and inhabitants. The Nigerian leader described as gladdening that the Secretary General and some members of the United Nations are partnering Nigeria in this endeavor. From New York, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.